So welcome to Go Fitness Yoga. My name is Mo, and this is Cheryl. We'll be guiding you through your practice today. So whether you're here to enjoy the practice of yoga or simply to strengthen, find better posture, to find more flexibility, to look, feel, and perform your best in all your other fitness and life activities, this is the class for you. Let's begin. Stand on the middle of your mat. Let's bring our big toes together and you can keep your heels slightly apart. Option is feet hip width. Let's just roll our shoulders up and around our ears, draw our chin in. Now let's bring breath into that. And exhale. When you bring your breath in, lift your heart. And when you exhale, let go of the tension you don't need to hold on to. Breathe in, soften your knees. And exhale, soften your knees. Again, use your breath to guide you, to pace you. We're here to guide you, but it is your practice. So work at your own pace. Last one. And we're ready to move on. Let's bring the hands overhead. Fingertips touch. And then draw your hands to heart center. Soft ankle and knee bend, breathe in. Hold at the top. Exhale, soften the gaze, hands to heart center. Again, breathe in, rise, squeeze from the bottom up, and exhale, soften, eyes. Breathe in, and exhale. So we're gonna intensify this if you're ready for more. Get a little deeper, breathe in. At the top, rise off your heels. Then drop your heels and drop into a high squat. This is where we start to bring muscle into the sequence. Legs, drop into a squat. Tuck your tail under, brace through the abs. Breathe in. Rise, hesitate, enjoy. Challenge begins. You can keep your heels off the mat. Breathe in. Rise, hesitate, and slowly surrender, descend. Let's do that two more times. Rise, and then soften, but stay strong in the legs. This next one, we're gonna lift up high, all the way up, and then we're gonna soften into that squat. Now we're gonna hold strong here with heels up. See if we can lift the heels higher and drop our hips lower. Lift the chest up anytime you need to. Drop heels or rise up out of the squat. A little deeper. This is a way to warm up. Breathe, breathe, and rise. Oh, that felt great. Shake it out. Woo! Step wide, turn the toes to the corner. Hands just at the crease of the hip. Bend the knee and rise, switch sides. Knee bends and rise. And then when you're ready, you can bring in the upper body. We sweep down and rise, sweep and rise. Exhale, breathe in, exhale, breathe in. Use your breath to bring warmth into your body. Beautiful, hold here. Now open the elbows, sit into your squat, and rise up, victory pose. Strong elbows, squeeze to shoulder blades, breathe in. Exhale, anchor, breathe in. We're gonna drop in and we're gonna hold here, so let's get comfy. If you need to drop the shoulders, just release the arms for a moment. Bring your hands to your lap. When you're ready to return, strong. If you can go a little deeper, this will get us ready to move on. Ooh. On three, breathe, two, and rise. Beautiful. So step your feet together. Now we're going to head into a great combination of balance, strength, and flow. Bring your weight into your left leg, or choose one leg. We'll be doing both, hands to hip to start. So you remember to keep your hips level with the ground. 
Let's begin. Lift the right toe off the floor and exhale. Extend the leg, breathe in, and then push your foot down on the ground. So now you know where we're going. Draw up, extend. Breathe in, and toe down. We're gonna add in the upper body, lift halfway, and extend. Breathe in, and foot down. Last time, breathe in, extend. I'll preview where we're gonna go. Let's begin. We rise, knee up front, extend, breathe in, and then tap back, forward lean. We build into this, the strength and the flow. Knee in, end up, tip back. Last time, inhale, exhale, extend. Breathe in, stand strong, reach back and hold. So we're setting up for beautiful warrior one. I'll show you from the side. Toe down, hips square. And then if you feel ready for it, you can rise off that back foot, tip from the hip, choices, arms out to the side. You can even lower the arms, reach them out in front and tip further. Don't worry if you have to touch down. Be confident. Rise up. Ooh. Shake it out. So the fun is the journey. That's what keeps bringing you back to yoga. Go Fitness Yoga is a practice. Let's take it to the other side. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right, let's settle in. Lift the left knee. Low to start. Toe in and touch down. Tuck your tail. Next tail. Extend. Breathe in. Going to rise up. Change the arm position. If this doesn't work for you, you can bring your hands to heart center. You can even bring your arms overhead. And we add in a tap back. Let's give it a go. Inhale. Feel and listen to your breath. Let it guide you. Standing strength and graced with flow and flexibility. Ooh, let's give it another go. One more. I'm going to ask you to do it one more time and you know where we're going to go with this. So reach out of your comfort zone here. Breathe in. And then tip back. So from here, toe on the ground, square your hips, brace and breathe. When you're ready, push off that leg. Lift up. Airplane pose. Nice. Reach, reach, reach. Rise up. Ooh, shake it out. Good work. Come to the, turn to the side and come to the very top of your mat. Let's put all this strength together in this flow. So we're going to begin hands overhead, extended mountain pose, and a full forward fold. Bend your knees, hands touch floor. Hands to shins, flat back extend. And then exhale, come into a forward fold. Let's take the front leg. You're going to step it back. A long step. Hesitate here. And then push back into a plank. Come right through. Knees to floor. Surrender the hips. Right down. Chest to floor. Surrender the hips. Squeeze the glutes and come into a modified baby cobra. Or stay here and breathe. Lift up a little higher and then take it back to the floor. Hands come by your ribs. Push your body weight up and back to child pose. Tuck your toes, come into down facing dog. Look forward, give that front foot a big step forward. Nice. 
and fold, step into forward fold. So we're gonna come into flat back extend, and then we're gonna fold again, hands to floor. Good news. Step the other leg back, and then step the first through, right to plank. Knees to floor, descend down. A little bit of an up dog, or go all the way up. Come back to the floor, breathe, push through. All the way back, hips, find the heels, or tuck your toes and come into down facing dog. Good work. Let's walk the feet towards the hands, and we're gonna meet that end of the mat and hold in forward fold. Bend your knees, reverse swan dive all the way to the top, and release your arms at your side. Come back to center. So we step our feet wide, bring our hands behind, and this helps us just take us to a really beautiful balancing pose. Tip forward. Nice, bend your knees if you need to. We'll stay here and just let the hands rest on the back, or you may want to bring them to the front of your thighs. And let's generously bend our knees and roll up. Breathe in, and hands behind. This time we're gonna lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, tip forward. Just let the arms just relax on the back or push the knuckles to the back wall. You can extend your legs fully. Gorgeous. Let's bend both knees and let's bring the hands in front. We're just going to bend the right knee and just give a little deeper stretch into the inner thighs and hamstrings. Hand on floor, switch sides. And we're gonna switch, step the hand and lift the hand. Switch sides. Feels great to get into those hamstrings. Come back to center. And this is where we let go. We just drape our body forward, hanging over our hips. Now we get to make our way to standing. Take your time, find your path. Roll up, rise up. Breathe in. Hands to heart center. Big breath in, and exhale. Breathe in, and exhale. And let's rise and drop in. Step your feet together. Let's see, let's find posture here. Just relax the shoulders, draw the navel in. And let's take this moment just to honor ourselves in the best posture, in the best light. Honor yourself for the time you've taken to bring this nourishing exercise into your body, your mind, and your heart. Namaste. All right. Let's get with it. Let's step our feet wide. Let's square the hips. And let's think about where we can find a little bit more openness in the muscles that are traditionally tight from sitting. So hands behind. And they can find your glorious hips. Roll the shoulders down, lift your heart. And just lift to open. If that feels good, stay right there. If you'd like more, interlace your fingers. Draw your knuckles down, chin is in. So here we stay, breathe. Stand your best, strong in your legs. Now bend your knees, and we're gonna drape forward. Hands find the floor, and then roll up like a rag doll. Breathe in, open your chest. Hands behind, tip from the hip. This time, knuckles to the sky. You can keep your hands low on your back. And 
then we lower down, we bend our knees, and we roll up slowly. So this makes for a fabulous warming sequence. Opening shoulders where they're tight, hips where they're tight, tip forward, and release the arms. Rolling up through the middle. Let's roll these shoulders. Are you ready? Let's bring some work into the legs. Just feel it. If it feels right for you, add a little rhythm. It's your personality shining through in your practice. It's not right or wrong, it just is. Beautiful. Let's move into our first warrior sequence. And to begin, we're gonna turn our right foot to the side, and then just turn that heel slightly back. Let's bring the hips forward, and we're gonna keep the legs strong and straight. Reach out to the ends of your mat. So let's push that hip back, and let's reach out beyond the right middle finger. And then turn and revolve. Revolve to evolve. Triangle. It may feel easier to bring your hand to your hip. Or rise over top. Try looking up, forward, or down. On the next breath, let's bend that front knee. That'll be your right, and let's come up into warrior two. Love this pose. Let's square off the hips to open in the front and reach out to both ends. So we're gonna flow through the sequence to bring strength and just some real subtleness and suppleness into our hips. Let's breathe in, extend over. Exhale, rise and return. Come again. You can bring your forearm to your thigh. Return and stay deep in the lunge. If you want more, tip hand to ankle or floor. Stay deep in that warrior. Come again. And now this time we rise and we hold. Stay deep, strong. If you need to let go somewhere so you can hold stronger elsewhere, that is totally fine. Next part, my favorite. Let's step in halfway with the back leg. Turn, rise. This is our strong warrior, different version. And now we're gonna lean forward. Strong, strong, strong. Feel that strength in the front leg. Bring your hands down, one on each side of the leg. Step back to down dog. Lift your feet, press your hips. And then on the next breath in, flow into plank. You have a choice, knees or not. Exhale, descend. On the next breath, roll your shoulders and rise. Baby Cobra, full up dog. Push back into child pose or down facing dog. And then let's look to the hands and step the back leg through. Give it a helping hand if need be. And then step into forward fold. Hold here and breathe. Reverse swan dive or roll up, whatever feels right for you. Exhale, arms at your side, and return to center. Great job. Good news. We have a second side. It's always good news. Let's begin. Turn that left foot. Just angle that heel, and let's come back to center. Use the length of your mat as your guide for hips and shoulders. The ends of your mat to extend the arms and look through that third finger, that third eye focus. Push your hip back on the right and reach out. And then tip and find your triangle. If you need to, soften the front knee. Draw in and revolve through the ribs to evolve your pose. Freedom. Are we ready? Let's bend that knee. Come on into warrior. So after triangle, you feel naturally stronger in the legs. So this is where we get to enjoy. 
Where we start is where we finish. Breathe in. Exhale. Hold. Begin again. Choices are to stay high and work through the sequence. Allow your breath to guide you. Exhale, find better depth, more strength. A little bit more. Reach and rise. Feel those muscles hug your bones. Last time. And rise. And now we hold. So can we come a little deeper? If not, that's fine. Not today. There's always tomorrow. Bring your hand on your thigh. Let's step in halfway. Turn our hips and rise. This is a strong warrior. Back heel is in and down. And if you don't have the flexibility there, just keep the heel up. That's totally cool. Now push out of the back leg. Lean forward, long, strong. You should feel the strength in that front leg again. Bring your hands to your hips if you need to, and then find the floor. Let's go. Stepping back into down dog. Take a step back if you need to. Hoist those hips well back. Bend the knees if you need to. Find the length, and let's flow. Breathe in. Knees or not, exhale, descend. Breathe in, rise, part way or all the way. Exhale, return to down dog. You can rest in child pose, if that feels better. Look to your hands, take a brave step forward with your back leg. And then let's come into forward fold. And let's do a reverse swan dive and end strong and standing. Come back to center. Reward, we get to sit down. So cross one leg behind, make your way to the floor. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna get into the deep work here. So let's take the left heel, place it under the right hip, and step the right foot over. The good news is we will do this on both sides, so pick a leg, any leg. Now, we're gonna think opposite. We're gonna connect the brain with the body. If it's your right knee, you grab a hold. And you see, Cheryl's got the option here. Reach back. Place your fingertips on the floor. Right behind you is sort of a second spine of sorts. And then breathe in and turn over that right shoulder. Just let the hip release, using the strength of that left arm. Breathe, sit up tall, and let that right hip find the mat. Bring your eye gaze back to center. Now, if it feels right, reach down, grab hold of the outer leg, and push away. If that doesn't feel right, the option's available to you. It's a big, deep stretch. You can also just use your elbow or your hand to help guide that knee across the body a little bit more. And release. Switch sides. Tuck the heel or not, you can extend it in front. And bring the foot over. Now we wanna make sure we're sitting up equally on both hips. So nice and tall. Let's just relax the chin and feel the length through the spine. That gorgeous spine that holds you tall. We're gonna release the tight muscles around that limit us from that. So let's use the strength of our upper body and then use our natural length of our spine. It's a beautiful stretch to smile through. And remember, when you love your hips, they love you back and they will let go. Bring your eye gaze back to center. Make sure you use your breath to keep you lifted when you're ready, reach down and wonder if I can, why not give it a try. You do not need to even extend the leg fully. You will get there eventually. The option is to use your hand to support that and to assist you. If you want to lift off, lift off. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being here today. And release. Excellent. All right, so let's bring our legs wide in front and we're going to bring our right heel into our inner thigh on the left 
So this one is just a big sweep with the opposite hand and stretch through. And you can bring your other hand through. And if you can reach your toes, good for you. If not, don't worry. Find a place to rest and drop your nose towards your knee. Just let that lower back drape forward. Last hold. It's a very, very important stretch to release through that low back. If it doesn't feel right, rise up. Do your best. And then just keep coming back to go fitness yoga. You'll get there. Just breathe in and lift. Shall we switch sides? Let's go. So think about just turning and then drape opposite hand. And when you're ready, reach hold. So we want to lengthen through the upper back. And when you feel that you can't come any further forward, just let it go. Let the nose find the knee. Hold from one more breath. Modify as you need to. Excellent. And we'll rise up. So we'll bring our soles of feet together. This will be just near the end as we come into our final resting pose. Let's just think about drawing the knees away. And you can let gravity just help you there. Or you can assist. Gently push the knees down. Wherever you need to go here. Let's gather our knees in. Bring our feet together and turn to one end. We're gonna do a beautiful twist to finish. So let's roll down and as we roll down, let's draw our back leg over our front and bend the knee. Take our arms out to the side. And let's let that top foot find the floor as we roll our knees to the front and look away and just breathe, just breathe. Two to three more breaths. And then let the weight or the help of the top leg lift your knees back up, unlock or uncross and switch. You may wanna shift your hips just a little so you can do the other side. And then let the foot Take that stretch down to the floor. And just breathe, just let go. Let the tension release. Beautiful way to end your yoga practice. Big deep breaths. And let's bring the top leg to carry the bottom leg up. Let's extend our legs and come into a lying position where we can come to our final resting. Breathe in, two big deep breaths, and feel the total relaxation. And you're welcome to stay here. We're gonna come up to sitting to finish. So find your way to a sitting position so we can just honor each other. Hands to heart. Namaste. Thank you for being here. We look forward to seeing you again soon.